It's your boy Aaron. Welcome back to Coach's Corner, where we have everything that's martial arts related. But today we're talking about Muay Thai, and especially knees. So I had this guy back in Chicago, he was a Thai coach, he taught me so much about clinching, about kneeing, about how to knee the heavy bag. So today I wanna show you a couple tips on how you can get stronger, more efficient knees. Let's get right onto the heavy bag and get into it, shall we? All right, now we're gonna need the heavy bag. So ideally, you want a bag that swings because you want some movement, okay? So you can push the bag, get a little swing. Now time the knee as it comes back. So I'm swinging it, stepping in, and I bring my knee up, point the toes, and lean back. When you knee, you want to hit with the hard part of the knee. You see? Really tuck your leg, lean back, swing the arms, and try to land with that hard part of your knee. So once you get that swing, you can start to work it off teeps. Okay, so I'm teeping, timing it, and kneeing. You use your teep to create the movement, and then you time it. A fun drill off of this is when you teep, you block, hold the block, and then knee. Block, knee. Same thing on the other side. Teep, knee. Let's work that other side again. A rear leg teep, you can block, boom, time it with the other knee. You can also teep, switch, knee. But it's all about timing it on the way back. That's the beginner way to knee the heavy bag. You need to create movement, time it, then knee. Next, we're gonna clinch and we're skipping knees, all right? So I clinch the bag like so. The first motion is finding this little pendulum footwork movement. One foot's on the ground, one foot's off. So I'm replacing the same foot each time. One foot on, one foot off. From here, I'm gonna swing one leg back. As I do that, I'm pushing the back away to create that space. Then I knee. When I switch, I swing the other leg back. As I push, then I knee. Then you start to find some rhythm with it. It's push, pull, push, pull. Now you wanna use your upper body to really push and pull for more power. Ready? One thing you wanna really focus on is swinging this leg back. Big range of motion, knee. Big range of motion, knee. Push, pull, pull, pull. Notice how I knee the same spot each time. Try to put a dent in the bag. When I trained and fought in Thailand, a big part of our routine, a big part of our conditioning is skipping knees. Bah, 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 bah. Shoot for about 200 at a time. If it's too much at first, there's one knee at a time. Boom, find the skip. One knee, boom, find the skip. But try to make it part of your regimen because this is really good for your heart and for conditioning your body. 200 skipping knees per session. I want to show you one more thing on the back. It's how to use round knees on the back. All right, so this was a straight knee. Now we're gonna work round knees coming around, okay? So I bring my leg up a 90 degree angle. So like a butterfly, whoom, knee. You can hit with the, the thigh, or you can try to turn over and hit with the knee. It's gonna do more damage. Let's see if we can do it off that same skip. One foot on, one foot off. I bring one leg out, boom, round knee. Whoom, round knee. Whoom, whoom. Oh, you can do it continuously too, same way. Hi, 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 If the skipping knees is too much, do it one at a time. Knee, back to your skip. Knee, back to your skip. Knee, knee, back to your skip. Straight knees and round knees. Push, pull. Get that leg back for big range of motion. Boom. Get some power in those knees. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's get back in the ring and tie this thing up. Nice work. All right, so those are some tips on how to knee the heavy bag. Remember, you need a big range of motion with that leg, and you need to use your upper body to pull as you knee. Take it slow, one rep at a time. Eventually, it'll become second nature. One thing a coach told me once is, now you're conscious of the technique, you do it 10,000 times, then you'll be competent. So practice, practice, practice. Let me know in the comments below what you want to learn. I'm here for you, as always. Thank you for letting me corner you. Us. Awesome.